Hey, yo, what swagger players? It's yo. We about to warn us up, bro. NBA draft or G League decision coming up. So, you know, we got to go crazy. Boy, Stacks Montana, man, back out here on this NBA 2K22 next gen. My career featuring the most handsomest six god ever, Killer Cat Baker, bro. It is time to make that decision. But before we do this, I did forget my last video to show you guys uh, my sigs and all of that stuff. Well, not my sigs, but I want to show you guys what my attributes look like and what badges I'm using. So right now, I am a 93 overall. You feel me? So, uh, and this is the attributes I have right now. So I maxed out my layup and my dunk. The only thing I have over here is shot close, and that's what 30, and that actually goes up to 60. And then my mid-range, that goes up to 90, so I have that to go as well. Um, so right now, so 85, 88, three-point, 88 free throw, um, 85 ball handle, and that actually maxes out at 86. And then pass accuracy maxes out at like 80-something as well. I maxed out my speed with ball, maxed out my perimeter defense, my steal, my defensive rebound. Um, I still got to get offensive rebound up there as well, but my speed, acceleration, uh, vertical is all maxed out, and my stamina is almost maxed out. So the only thing I'm really worried about now is my stamina and and my pass accuracy those are gonna be the next things i'm really working on so uh yeah so i got my mentality the perk i'm working with is accelerator i did my workouts already so it's not gonna show that i have gym rat but once that timer runs out i did do the uh the 50 drills to get gym rat so i have that as well and as far as my badges go these are the badges i'm running with so uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and max out my posterize and need to get that i'm still trying to get more badges i'm gonna go ahead and max out my dead eye and then of course you gotta have sniper but sniper is op bro i ain't gonna cap I'm still waiting to get another playmaking badge so I could go ahead and get ankle breakers. And then for defense, man, my de I, the only thing about this build that I wish, I wish I could get chase down artists on this build, but I can't. Unfortunately, so that's the only bad thing about this build. I'm not going to cap. Your boy been putting in work on these quests, but the quest we're working on right now is to find out what is the next move for your boy national champion. Are we going to go to the G League or are we about to enter the draft? Let's figure it out. Big dog walking through. How's it feel to be the MP? YouTube star turned collegiate legend. Man, honestly. I feel great, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, does it feel as great as you thought it was going to feel when I caught you practicing taking down the net with your little step stool with that? Oh, you, so you just never going to let me forget that story, huh, bro? <laughs> nah, man. Hey, you know what? I respect that. <laughs> hey, 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 for real, though. You been thinking at all about next steps? Bro, always. That's what I'm talking about. So where's your head at? Because, you know, I got a million ideas about how we could leverage where we're at now, but... You know, I want to know what you're thinking before I push the button on anything. Honestly, I'm thinking about going to the G League. <laughs> you're joking, right? No, I'm not joking. A lot of top prospects come out of the G League now. I, yeah, I'm not knocking the G League, but it's a great option for a lot of dudes. But not if you've got the top draft pick on lock, bro. It'd be stupid for you to go to the G League right now. Bro, everybody talks about the development program, right? How they work with you, how you own your skills. And it's getting you ready for the NBA. Why would I that, do that? All of that is true. But you got the top draft pick, bro. The normal rules don't really apply to you. You trying to sound special? I ain't gonna say that, bro. Come on, man. You know I got a fragile ego. It's like a real star thing. I can't really control it. Don't make me say it, If man. you don't say it, I'm going to the G League. All right, fine. You special. All right, you, you have some of the biggest talent I've ever seen, and it's not even close. I mean, you honestly have a chance to be one of the greatest ball players of all time. You happy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You actually said it, bro. You real weak. Man, I'm gonna kill you, bro. <sighs> I love it. Get on my nerves. It's time to figure out what we're gonna do with our future, our career. Should we enter the draft? Should we go to the G League right now? It's saying that your boy is a lock to be taken number one overall. It says the number one pick right there, bro. I'm a lock to be the number one pick. So, what should I do? You made a decision, haven't you? You can tell that just by looking at my face, bro. Man, how long have I known you? Since what, kindergarten? And you've been making that same stupid face. So come on, tell me what you want to do. I made my decision official, and it is time. It is time. Hey, so what you think? What do I think? I, I can't believe this, bro. Hey, bro, you've been gassing me ever since we was in kindergarten, and you can't believe this? Look, I'm just saying, man, this is huge. This is the NBA, Yo. bro, and it's, it's like for real, really, for real. Hey, yo, but wait, is it really happening, though? Man, shut up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, all right, so what's next, Mr. Manager? What we doing? Next? Next, I, I, I got a lot to do, but I'm gonna need a minute to set everything up, so why don't you just come back in a little bit and we can talk details. All right, so what should I do in the meantime? Don't get hurt. 
funny guy. No, 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 no. I'm not playing, MP. If I catch you skateboarding, we're going to have some problems. All right, Mom. I'll be home before the lights are out, too, so I don't get grounded, OK? <laughs> You're so funny, bro. You ready to talk agents, bro? Are uh, you ready, Rick? I'm excited to see what you got, man. You've been over there working like a dog in your little corner. Hey, do you know how many NBA agents there are? I had to do so much research, bro. OK, so who's the front runner? Who are we looking at? All right, well, I've narrowed it down to two, and we are looking at Palmer Athletics Agency. PAA, right? Yep. Yeah. And Barry and Associates. I don't know, though. Yeah, they're more up and coming, but they've got a lot going for them. I mean, especially if we're going to branch out into these more ambitious ideas with fashion and music. And hey, look, tell me about them, bro. All right, well, I've set up meetings with each agency, all right? So you got to go check these guys out in person and see just who you vibe with. I mean, but I can give you a primer. <laughs> yeah, let me hear it. All right, so PAA is like the gold standard. They've repped anybody who's anybody in the NBA. Hall of Famers, All-NBA, you name it. So why wouldn't we go with them, bro? Okay, well, let me tell you about Barry and Associates. Look, their founder, Barbara Barry, she's, <laughs> she's basically a savant. I mean, she started as a musician, became a producer, and now she's an agent, killed it at all three levels. Triple threat, I like that. Yeah, and they got a good amount of experience repping NBA players, too. I mean, they're just not as big as someone like PAA. Which means I might get some more personal attention. Hey. Not only that, bro, but they rep a lot of musicians and people in the entertainment world. I mean, Palmer's pretty much all basketball. So that can open up a whole nother world for me, bro. Yeah, yeah. maybe. I mean, you get big enough as an athlete, though, you could do the LeBron thing. Work with whoever you want, no matter who your agent is. I mean, look. There's just something about Barbara and her team, though. I mean, it's just, they pique my interest. I really feel like she got this unique vision. Like, she could really hook us up with some more outside-the-box kind of things. So that's the way you lean it, huh? <laughs> I honestly think both could do a great job. But, I mean, like any workplace relationship, a lot of it's going to come down to who you're comfortable working with. I mean, so you got to go down and meet them before you make a decision. I mean, just feel them out. See who's a good fit with you personally. Rick, what do you know about a workplace, bro? 2K shoes, that's not a boardroom, bro. All right, hold on. 2K shoes was hard work, bro. You gonna stop trying to play my shoes? Okay, look, look, I know, I know your work ethic is amazing, my son, okay? All right, yeah, well, like I said, I set up meetings with both of them, all right? All you gotta do is go and listen. You can even ask some questions if you feel like participating. <laughs> you think you can handle that? Consider it done, my son. <laughs> Thank you, Rick. So annoying. We got a couple meetings to attend. And honestly, bro, it sounds like that other agency is way more fire, bro. Like the second one, uh, because that first one, PAA, I think it's called, it seemed like it's really professional, really all about basketball. But that other one allows you to be a mogul. You feel me? And I'm trying to be a mogul, bro. I'm trying to do things outside of hoop. You feel me? And it seemed like that second one, even though it's up and coming, that um, it might be best for me. And like he said, I can get a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention I would probably be their biggest client and they'll probably get me all the deals, you feel me? So I might have to go with that second one, but I am gonna take both meetings. I ain't gonna cap, they building look kinda nice, bro. Ooh, look how this open up for your boy in here. Hi, how can I help you? Hi, um, I have an appointment with Kristen Keller, Kellenher. Keller. Ke Keller, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, and you'll be also meeting with Ms. Palmer and of course, Mr. Bennett. Oh, great, he's here already, cool. Yeah, he just beat you by a minute. <laughs> Everyone's on the 21st floor and elevators are right back there. Awesome, thank you so much. Um, Jessica. Jessica, awesome, thank you. You're welcome, back there. I don't know, he was looking kinda hard. Hold up, let me find out since God might have found something right quick. Hey, there he is. How you doing? What's <laughs> How up, you doing, bro? I'm good. It's great to finally meet you in person, MP. How I'm Kristen. Kristen. Diane. Diane, nice to meet you all. No, the mm -hmm. pleasure's ours. Can we get you anything? Uh, coffee, LaCroix? I'm good. Uh, yeah, you know, I think we're ready to just jump in. Great, good. So, like I said on the phone, right now we are currently in our home stretch, at least as far as finalizing agencies right. goes. The missing puzzle piece for me is really just what each team's vision is for MP. Like, I just want to make sure that what you see for him lines up with what we see for him. Hey, look, Di Kristen, I just want to know what y'all bringing that we don't have. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> right, exactly. Uh, well, those are both very reasonable concerns. When it comes to vision, the good news is this is a science, not mm. an art. The very idea of a superstar athlete was invented inside these walls. True. It's what we do. <laughs> it's a, in our DNA. <laughs> I love that. That's... Yeah, I'm, I, I do have a question, though. Of course. Well, MP and I, you know, we like to think of ourselves as people that do things kind of differently, mm -hmm. or outside the norm. Yeah. Can either of you guys speak to that? Do you mind? Yeah, go ahead. Any idea how many female heads of sports agencies there are? Uh, no. Nah. One. And you're looking at her. <laughs> so if anybody understands doing things outside the norm, it's us. 
If anybody knows how to get what they want, regardless of how many people try to tell them no, that's us. When it comes to gender equality, the sports business is stuck in the Stone Age and we rose to the top because we refused to let anybody else's idea of who or what we should be define us. And that is what we want for you. How many, how many female reps are there repping NBA players right now? I don't have an exact number, but they could all fit in this room. You guys get the point, okay? You live up to your potential on the court and there's not a single vision you have for yourself that we can't make a reality. Whew. Kristen will be here for you in the day to day and I am always here if you need me. And all you have to do is ball. <laughs> That's not bad. How you feeling, big guy? Wow, bro, she just went in, in. Hey, bro, I'm look, 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 look. I ain't gonna care. They pulling me in a little bit. They drawing me in. I'm liking everything I'm hearing from them. It all depends on what the other, what the other joint says. Because if they not coming correct, I'm signing here, bro. Cause they, what they're saying right now, I'm loving every second of it, bro. So you know, I'm gonna leave this meeting. I'm gonna go check out what they gotta say. I'm gonna, and if, if I ain't rocking with it, I'm coming back here and I'm signing here. Well, it's been great getting to know you too. You yep. definitely giving me a lot to think okay. about well, thank you the pleasure's thank all you. ours and look if you have any questions at all please don't hesitate to reach out oh absolutely yeah yeah i'm gonna actually stay behind with them and just drill out some finer detail points but i'll catch up with you man i copy that have a good day have a good one ladies Take care. now i'm sliding to that other meeting bro uh, hopefully this meeting sounds good i don't know bro because that one sound fire bro i ain't gonna cap that one sounded good bro let's see what they gonna say Oh, they got a PA. Hey, they, they lobby look fire too. I ain't gonna care. They look real professional over here. Hey. Good afternoon. How can I help you? I'm here. I have an appointment with Charles Hampton. And you must be MP. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, Charles is with your friend Ricky in our East Conference room. Oh, they're here? Yeah, I got here about 10 minutes ago. He said he didn't want to keep you waiting. Ooh, that's my boy. Okay. Yeah, you can head right back through there. Uh, you'll see them in our conference room and you can't miss it. Great. Thank you. And my name's uh, Adriana in case you need anything. I appreciate that, Adriana. Thank you. Yeah, enjoy your meeting. He's got crazy engagement on his oh, YouTube. Oh, it's been growing every people, day. Yeah, people are commenting. They just, uh, he's just got this natural kind of. What's going on, know, guys? Oh, it's MP. Hey, How you doing? There he goes. How you doing, Charles? Good to see you, MP. Am I interrupting something? Y'all sound like y'all having a good conversation. <laughs> Definitely nah, good. Man, I I, I was just telling him about an album launch party I was at with The Weeknd oh, in Paris. What? It's wild, man. Dope. Yeah, it's a long story. But, uh, you know, I know you're a busy man. We should just get into it. Yeah, let's get into it. I'm, I'm excited to hear what you got to say. Oh, you just going to represent yourself now. All right, you know, if that's what we're doing. Come on, shut up. Just let the man talk. <laughs> my bad. Sorry about my client. You, you guys ready for, to hear my pitch? Yes. Please, continue. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I'd like to tell you guys two things you know, two things you don't know. Yeah? All right, let's start with what you know. You're a remarkable talent. Someone with a chance to do something very special in the league. Which is so far. Second, and most importantly, uh, or I should say, due in large part to your boy Ricky over here, <clears throat> you got a very large, very quantifiable, and therefore very monetizable fan base. And they'll hang on your every word whether or not you ever step foot on an NBA court. Hey, did you know that this dude didn't even want to start a YouTube page? Right. Like, hey, no, no, in the beginning, wow. it was like pulling teeth with him. Let the man finish talking. Well, right well listen, let's, let's talk about what you don't know. First, you have the potential to make more money off the court than any player in the history of the NBA. I like that. Second, and most importantly, you can accomplish this outside of a larger corporate structure, answering only to yourselves, your vision. Okay, but what about somebody like Nike, right? Are you, are you saying that we wouldn't be working with them? No, no, or? no, it's not that you wouldn't work with Nike or Gatorade or whoever, right? But the, but the, the whole goal is to position you as a trailblazing icon. Because mm. nobody else has your story, MP. Yeah. And we know how to make the most of it. Uh, OK. You guys know E-40. <laughs> E-40, yeah. yeah. Dude's a legend, man. Well, listen, growing up in the Bay, he's a hero of mine. And, and not just because of his music, which is ridiculously good, right. but because the dude did it on his own terms. The guy started a record label when that was not something rap artists did. Yeah. He's inspired me since day one. I mean, I mean, truth be told, he's the reason why I became an agent. Because I wanted to help artists establish their unique vision, their truths, no matter what the outside world told them was possible. That's what you need. That's what we can do for you. 
I'm not gonna lie, that all sounds great, Charles. What you think, MP? Where's your head at? I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Before I came to this meeting, I was totally thinking that this was gonna be like a rundown office, a hole in the wall type of office, just based off how the other company kind of put the perspective on them, right? These guys have the tools to provide us with the with the career and the uh, and the and the, and the plan that we have for it for ourselves. You feel me? So I'm gonna keep it short and say I'm signing with Barry and Associates. I ain't gonna cap. I'm signing over here, baby. You know, Charles, Ricky and I, we we always talking about using sports to set up other stuff. My, my music, my mm -hmm. fashion, like that's the type mm -hmm. of career I see for myself, man. Just groundbreaking as a new athlete. That's what I want. So do we have a deal? Hey, you know what, Charles? Man, we got a deal. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up. Let's we go. got a deal, man. That's what's up. So what we doing? How do, what, what happens next? Well, look, man, I'm going to hang back with Ricky. We'll hash out some details. Cool. You know, go do you, man. Go work out, hey, watch look. film, whatever it is superstars do. It's a pleasure. I'm looking forward to working with you, man. Ricky, I catch oh, you Oh, yeah, we're going to do some big great. things, MP. Charles, it ain't over, man. It's just getting nah, started. we're just getting started, my <laughs> friend. So let's talk, Charles. What kind of percentages we looking at? Oh, well, listen, man. I got some branding ideas. I love the 2K story this year, bro. I'm not going to lie. It's not like the traditional story. In no sense of you to see back to back cutscenes, but it's interactive. You know what I'm saying? Like you can move around, you can do different things. You have to go to these meetings, you have to really make these decisions. And I feel like that makes it that much better, that much more special. And I'm loving it so far this year. Hopefully, you guys are loving it as well. If this is your first time though watching the Stacks Montana video, man, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Also, drop a like if you enjoyed. And until next time, man, real fans, stay up and I am out. Swag team, bro. Zombie. Game. Cuz. The next video, bro, we're going to be hitting up that draft combine. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be entering the draft, bro. So I'm excited to get to it. Let's go. Yeah. Got the black him out of get me through this shit. They should go over that. I might get these niggas ten percent. I'm a country man, not business man. That shit is off the grid. Off the map and shit might open up the bag and fucking dip. Like a bag of chips, you niggas think it crunch time. I'm a dip. No twenty percent when my shit hit the charts, then it's a hit.